Hi, cozy friends. I thought it was about time we go through my cozy morning routine. Now I want to make this very clear. Okay. This is not my morning routine every day. My morning routine is something of an enigma. It really changes every morning, but this is kind of my planned routine if I actually did it in the same order every day. So I usually wake up anywhere between 6.30 and 7.30 and we kind of have a slow wake up. We sit in bed for like 30 minutes and listen to Azula sing the song of her people. I'm a big fan of turning on all of the lights and opening all of the blinds in the morning just to really get the sunlight in. I always put on my house shoes like first thing in the morning. I hate stepping on like little crumbs and bits on the floor. I can't stand it. And then I just come into my office because this is really just where I spend all day. I open the blinds. I kind of just look around and see what needs to be reset. And then I pop back into the bedroom, make sure everything's kind of tidied up. I make the bed with Ryan and then I kind of get the rest of my stuff that I have on the bedside table and bring it into my office. We did the thing where you put two duvets in the duvet cover so that it's like hotel fluffy. I swear it's given us more grief than it's worth, but I do really like it. It's very fluffy. What is a morning without bullying your cat a little bit? You know, bullying with love. They bully us all the time, so I think it's warranted just this once. And then I give him some real love. But of course, that's never enough. He's like, excuse me. Miss Lady, come back. But that's it for the bedroom. I don't know about y'all, but once I get up in the morning, I never really come back to the bedroom until nighttime. I don't know if that's just me because I have my little cozy hobby room. Also, my cats are feral in the morning. Oh my God. <laughs> Today I got dressed for Pilates because it's a Pilates day. I only do Pilates once a week, so it just happens to be a day I'm going. This is also a pretty late day for me. I have an 8.30 class. Usually I do a 7.30 class so I can get it done first and then get started with my day. But today I'm going to do a little bit of stuff beforehand and then do class and then come back and get started. Just doing a little light brush before class so I don't knock anyone out with my breath. And since my morning's a little bit broken up today, I'm going to do some light brain activity. So I start off with just some notion check-ins and make sure that my habits are up to date from the day before. And then I kind of go through my to-dos and I see if there's anything like really pressing that I need to do or just kind of plan out my day. And then I do some journaling. I really like this journal from Papier. It's like a wellness journal and it's set up morning and evening. I kind of neglect the evening one, but that's okay. I'm being patient with myself because I'm getting used to journaling more often every day. And I really like the morning ones. I feel like it works well for me and it sets my intentions and there's like an energy level tracker and then there's a space to plan your restful moment for the day and your movement for the day, which I love. I basically didn't do any journaling this past year. I would do it when like a stressful event came up and I needed to kind of work through it. But I really like the idea of having a daily journal practice. So that's what I'm working towards this year. Now it's Pilates time, you guys. I literally have to amp myself up every single time I do Pilates and I only do it once a week. For me, it's like the leaving the house and being around other people. It puts me in a totally different mindset and it's really hard for me to like jump into that mindset in the very early morning of like, 7 30 usually but i've been doing it consistently for the past like four or five months i think we got to pick up the newspaper for later okay that's a new thing for me recently too and i've been loving it i'll talk more about it later but on our way to pilates let's go let's go skr skr You know when people are like, okay, before a workout, you'll hate it. But then after you feel so good, I don't feel that way. Okay. I'm like, okay, we did it. Whatever. So I always get a little treat to bring home. I also forget my keys about 50% of the time. So I just ring the doorbell and Ryan answers. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> so in the time that I was at Pilates, I'd usually be kind of making myself breakfast, making myself drinks and tidying up a little bit. But for now, we got our drinks. But I do love a morning clean because if there's one thing I won't do, it's clean at night. I refuse to do it. But lately, I've been more intentional about the specific cleaning products I use. That's why I've been using Blue Land because they make it so easy to limit your waste. You get these forever bottles, you fill them with warm water, and then you just drop a tablet in. And the tablets start at like 225. Compare that to your regular regular cleaning product okay and then once they're dissolved you just pop the nozzle on you don't need to shake or stir or nothing i love that there's no single use plastic from like the bottles to the tablets and the wrappers and the shipping like everything is either compostable or recyclable like safe for the planet safe for our pets safe for us and affordable i absolutely love it i got the clean essentials kit which i feel like is the best to start with if you're interested because it's like their bathroom cleaner the multi-service cleaner the glass and mirror cleaner and then a foaming hand soap which is all their best sellers so it's the perfect starter pack i just love it for a short little burst of cleaning in the morning like i'm not a huge deep cleaner person. I'm more of a small cleans over time person. I gotta say all of their cleaning products work really well and smell really well like fantastic A plus. However their hand soap goes crazy. I love their hand soap. I'm like planning to replace all the hand soaps in my house with this because I have the Perrine lemon one and it just smells like a spa. It smells amazing. If you're interested though you can click my link below to get 15% off your first kit. Blue Land's having their biggest sale of the year which is amazing. Thanks so much Blue Land and now let's get to our donuts that have been my reward for doing a little tidy in the morning. Oh my gosh these are so good. Look at them just sitting in the sun looking pretty. 
Oh my God. So at the end of this year, I've been very intentional about not diving into work until I'm ready to actually sit down and work for the full day. Because otherwise my morning routine is shot. Like throughout the year, I would just wake up, go straight to my desk and then be working for the rest of the day and not eat my breakfast and not like do all the things I wanted to do. Ryan made me breakfast this morning, which he does a lot because he knows that I normally forget. <laughs> so now I'm very intentional about my pre-work time where I can work out, I can eat breakfast, I can get all my drinks in that I want to drink and I can kind of stay connected to the world, work my brain a little bit, warm my brain up for the day. It's so much nicer. If you're kind of loosey-goosey with routines like I am, I really recommend subscribing to your local newspaper because it really helps with like the ritual of the morning routine and it kind of helps signal to my brain like, okay, this is time for morning and we can get to work a little bit later. But now it's time to shower because I've been sitting in my Pilates funk for a little bit too long. There's nothing worse than being a little too late for the shower and you have to shower after your partner is pooping. Nothing worse. Okay, I let the poo air dissipate and then I hop in the shower. I'm using kind of a mixture of body washes. I always switch out my body washes, but I stick to the same face washes and that's the crave beauty face wash and the youth to the people face wash i've also been double cleansing lately especially with the workouts c2 two, two double cleanse <laughs> i feel like the first wash gets off like that first layer of grime and then the second wash is like the real cleanse you know <laughs> look at this deep breath <laughs> then i use in shower moisturizer because usually i'm too lazy to do it out of the shower but now i've been doing in it in and out of the shower so i'm proud of myself i'm the biggest baby when it comes to cold air outside of the shower i hate it okay now for skincare i don't really shift around my skincare too much i kind of keep to the same product how cute is my little organizer though? I absolutely love it. It's so cute. Okay, first up is the April Skin Rice Essence Toner. I've used this for so long. I love it. Just slap it on. I used to think I had oily skin because I would get oily all the time, but I realized in adulthood it was just because I wasn't hydrating enough. So now she prioritizes hydration, okay? This is the Evian Spray and Hyaluronic Acid. Running out of this one, but this is going to be the next one I try. I got it in PR, so I just want to try it out. I don't want to waste it. Then I fan off my face. It's all very dramatic. I love it. Got to make sure the serums are dry, and then I use the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Moisturizer. And then I use this squalane oil from Biosans. I just mix them together and then I rub them all over my face just to moisturize, really set in all the serums. And then I use the Black Girl Sunscreen. I use two fingers. I realized that recently that you're supposed to use two fingers worth. Yeah, girl, we got it. Two fingers. We got you. Sunscreen is like the most important part of a skincare routine. So if you don't do anything, at least do sunscreen. That's what everybody says. Now we're doing some lip balm. I got the bougie Summer Friday one for Christmas. So I'm using that up. Best believe. Eos coconut water smells so good, you guys. I can't stress it enough. It smells so good. And then Hani water. Water lotion has been great. It's marketed as like the lotion for lazy people. And let me tell you, it's fantastic. I'm loving it. Please don't perceive my feet. Okay, thank you. The Cozy Girl uniform is a baby tee and wide leg sweats. You can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> a little flossing, a little brushing, a little hung scraping, and a little mouthwashing. <laughs> Their breath is like the best mouthwash ever. And for the pits, I use the pH whatever secret aluminum free, and then I use native on top. I do makeup whenever I'm going to be filming a little bit of content. So I use some brow gel, then I use a little bit of brow pen. I'm realizing while I do this, I'm such a drugstore girly. I use NYX uh, uh, concealer. There's so many better concealers I could use, but clearly I'm a drugstore girly. I don't know. I guess it's in my roots. I'm never getting it out. I'm fine with that. Glossier Cloud Paint in Storm is my girl. I've been using it for like three plus years. You can tell the packaging is beat, but ah, so is my face. Look at that. <laughs> and then recently I've been using Ilia stuff, which I love. I love their mascara and I love their eyeshadow because it's talc free. And that's it for makeup. Now for hair, it was not washed day today. When I do wash it, this is what I put on afterwards. Whipped curl, a wee dad whipped curls. Uh, I do that first. And then Moringa Curl Poppin' Define Cream. Fantastic. It smells bad though. I do that second. And then last I do Wee Dad Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. I do that third and that is it, y'all. That's it. And then I run it through with a Denman brush. This is not a Denman brush, but this also works. Make sure all the products are super saturated and like every inch of your and hair. And I just diffuse it with a blow dryer and that's it, y'all. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Now is the time in the day when I need to fill my tray with a minimum of three drinks, okay? Because I can't function without them. All right, let's get our coffee first. Actually, it's not coffee. It's tea. Why did I say coffee? It's chai. It's a chai latte. I gotta fill it with mostly ice to simulate the real coffee shop experience. You know what I mean? Then I get my oat milks. I love that the Trader Joe's one is called oat beverage. Like, why are we not calling it milk, bestie? Why'd we do that, huh? It's a little worrisome, but not enough to not drink it. Hey, yo. Okay, then I use like Tazo. This is tea. This is not even a chai latte. You guys, ugh, don't listen to me. So we're finishing off the pumpkin spice latte that I have, adding a little Madeline syrup. I love this stuff. It tastes phenomenal. Mixing that bad boy up a little bit aggressively. We can calm down, I think. And then because I forget every drink I have ever, I have to microwave this because now it's cold, but it's still delicious. So I'm going to keep it. And then I get some water and I add a hydration immunity pack. I love these things. They taste so good. If you like Jamaica, ooh, it's 
perfect. It tastes exactly like Jamaica. And then I add a little bit of chlorophyll, mix her up, and all my drinks are good to go, baby. They are good to go. This tray is perfect if you're a drink goblin. Any tray works. I think I got this from like Home Goods, but I love that it's a little bit small enough to put on a desk and then I could just whisk it from room to room. Okay, so if it's the weekend, this is where I'd normally sit here, watch a little YouTube, kind of decompress, and then figure out what I'm going to do for the day if I have to do some work or if I just want to chill out. But it's not the weekend and it's super late in the morning because I'm filming this video. So it's taking like two times as long as it normally takes for me to get ready in the morning. But now I'm finally sitting down and jumping into my Slack, to my email, to everything. Being self-employed after being a corporate girly is so funny because I have the like immense gratitude of not having to be a corporate girly, but then I also know how much more I work now than I did as a corporate girly. But the reason I love it is because the work is my work. It's working for myself. It's growing my own brand and my own business. So as much as I do work, I still really love it. I would say like 80 to 90% is stuff that I'm always passionate about, always excited about. And then 10 to 20% is like regular, regular admin kind of desk job work. But it's work that must be done and it's a small price to pay for doing what I love every day. So it's about lunchtime in this video, I think. But usually I start my admin work around 8.30 or 9 a.m. You could see me squirting a little bit because I'm like, oh my God, I'm behind, I'm behind, I'm behind. But after I look at any pressing Slack or email messages, then I go to my planner. I make sure everything's up to date. All my submission dates are noted so that I'm ahead of everything. This is also where my type A jumps out, like truly jumps out because not only do I put my to-dos in my planner, I also put it on this little whiteboard in front of me because I just feel like having it in multiple places helps me stay focused and helps me feel a little bit less stressed about what I have to do for the day. And then if I am feeling stressed, I kind of try to regulate by doing some like puzzles or reading or something because usually my go-to is picking up my phone and then I could kind of get in a hole for like hours and then I'm behind. So I found doing little puzzles helps me regulate really quickly and then I could just jump back into work once the puzzle is over. Again, this is all very aspirational. This is like all my best days in implementing a lot of my recent kind of goals and stuff for the year. But that is my morning routine. I hope it was interesting. I'm curious to hear what things you do or what things you might want to implement after watching this. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye.